Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. Today is one of the big days we have been waiting on and dreaming about. We are gonna harvest as much as we can out of this garden. It has completely turned to fall here. And they're calling for more rain. So this is probably the driest, sunniest day that we are going to get in quite a while. So we need to pull what we can. Let's get to it. Welcome to our vlog. We are the Milnes family. We started building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska in the summer of 2021. That's my husband, Aaron. I am Jessica, a stay-at-home wife and mom. Our second son, Caleb, lives here with us along with our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt. We brought our two dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and got a new addition, the Alaska dog, Roberto. It's simply getting too cold for the tomatoes now and I will show you but we're going to just pull all the tomatoes. The other ones did an amazing job ripening inside. <laughs> My rooster says good morning and so we'll take in all of the tomatoes and let them ripen in brown paper bags like we've done before and who knows i might even fry a few fried green tomatoes for all of you southern folks that keep mentioning that would be a great idea so we're just going to come through in are really good shape but the frost is coming To be honest with you, I'm quite shocked that some of these tomatoes even survived. Yesterday and last night, it was so windy and cold, and I normally don't get wind at my house, believe it or not, the way that it just kind of sits in this little bowl here. And it was like pelting rain against the window. Everything was getting hit really hard with it. It was so cold last night that we were wearing like full Carhartt coats in the whole nine yards at the football game. And so, yes, we could bring these in. I don't have any place that I could put these indoors and I don't have a greenhouse. So I don't have an ability to allow the plants to continue to ripen. And you know what, that's okay. Like we've gotten such an amazing harvest off of these tomato plants just here in the buckets. So to ripen them in brown paper bags, do the best that we can with our very first garden. I am super proud of myself. You probably get here tired of hearing me say that, but honestly, to have never, ever, ever grown a single bite of food in my life, to having grown all of these different things in the garden this year, we did really well. Alaska is super easy. I'm very forgiving to grow a garden in. The only thing is, is getting a good soil mix and the compost mix and those sort of things because it was like a glacier type of ground. So it's a lot of rock and sand, not a lot of nutrients, but as we build that up over time, we'll be able to have an incredible garden in the future. We learned a lot, but let's finish harvesting all of the tomato plants. All right, I wanna show you this one tomato plant after I had pruned everything off of here. Look at what it grew. Isn't that amazing? A couple of them have been bit by something, but all in all, so beautiful. If you, if you have followed my gardening journey this year from the beginning, you will know that these three buckets right here next to me were these funny little tomatoes that were fallen over and someone had just given them to my neighbor who then gave them to me over Easter. You gotta love that rooster. <laughs> that one was Aaron. 
<laughs> so she gave me these tomato plants and we did not think they were going to make it. In fact, they were in the basement at one point and I almost like, I was ready to just quit watering and fertilizing them. And then they started to just be covered in all of these blooms. So they are called the furthest north. Someone went back to the video and reminded me what the name was. Um, and there's some sort of like cherry or grape sized tomato and they bloom so many tomatoes, but they take a really, really long time in order to get to the point of blooming the tomatoes. So if you do plant or find these, don't give up hope on that tomato plant because I had no clue what it was. My neighbor didn't know what it was. Um, and so we just gave it a whirl and just continued to feed the, the pots with a master blend is what it's called for tomatoes. But yeah, we're going to pull all of these cherry or grape tomatoes off of these. Look at the mushroom. I'm not going to touch it because I don't know anything about mushrooms but this guy look at him sheesh all right, all right girls Okay, we've moved over to the last tomato plants that took a lot longer. We already have these, so we're going to harvest what's left on these tomato plants. And then we started moving things to the compost pile so that we can start getting this area cleared out. Now I'm covered in smoke. Hello. So we can get this area cleared out and leveled off, hopefully, before winter sets in. Today is also cleanup day, so Aaron has the fire going. There's so much scrap wood and just crazy amounts of things from building the house, and then it just gets ruined in the rain. But I'm just gonna show you this tomato. Look at that. This one we also, the other day, had taken so many off of. But it's obviously starting to die back pretty hard. So now, that was the perfect weekend. It's not raining on me, it's always raining on me. And we're hoping that the sun shines long enough <laughs> And we can get to the potatoes. We're just letting the, the ground dry as best as we can get it for one day. It was pummeling, like I said yesterday. Um, said earlier that it was just so much rain. But yeah, let's finish harvesting the tomatoes. 
Look at that. Okay, we finished the tomatoes. Now we're gonna take whatever is left on the pepper plant. And let me show you. They are really not liking the weather. So they are dying pretty hard. This is done and all of that can get ready to go to the compost. It's time. It's time. We're going to start pulling potatoes because they're coming out of the ground. The weather is going to turn south. These I can maybe let go a little further, but what do I know? I've never grown potatoes. These for sure have died back. And come over here. See, this is what we're talking about. That is a potato. They're literally coming out of the ground. Oh, look, there's another one. It is time to harvest the potatoes. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Aaron's going to help me. We're very excited. And we think we can just dig them by hand. If not, he does have the, the thing. But there. Oh, so I got you a bucket. And we're going to try to keep them divided by color. Look at those. Those are, let me see them. So those are the Viking potatoes. Nice. All right, the bucket's right next to you. Birdo, no. We know you know how to dig potatoes. Watch out, buddy. Yeah, buddy. No, they are. Look. They no. are down. No, they're not. They are, too. You might have found one. But I see how they're all up here in the soccer group. to harvest our potato seeds. Oh, look at these. What, we saw up there and try to see one duck? Oh, my goodness. These are, look at that color. They didn't grow in that dirt, Caleb. Yeah, the hard dirt the, the in the bottom. Dirt. Yeah. If we wouldn't have built up around these potatoes, we wouldn't have any. What's this white speckles on them? I don't know, you want those little teeny tiny ones? Mm. Look at those, okay? Oh, what color are those? Pink. Pink? Oops. 
What do they taste like right out of the ground? Dirt. Dirt. Planet dirt. <laughs> dirt. She saves, she saves these from Huh? I don't know. No. Then just... Baby potato! Just dig around a little. Look, so many red purple ones. Yoink. These are beautiful. The color of these. Ah! Wow. Look at how many are coming out of this one. That's your mess. Better toss this. Pretty gross looking. It's that one too. Uh, that's a cedar. Oh. Skew, you're my way. Go down a few. No. You have a nasty southern. Keep digging. It's all because of Birdo. He fertilized all of it. <laughs> He's got it, look at him. He just didn't like all the dirt that came with it. That's the cedar potato. That's all the potatoes that were ground. Now you know what it's like to be Birdo. How fun! <laughs> all right, rooster has a name. Cogburn, right, Aaron? Cogborn? Cogburn. Co rooster Cogburn. You messed it up one more time. You're out of the family. <laughs> So he has a name. If you know what his name is from, leave it in the comment section below. So here is today's harvest. Like I said, we've, we've started composting and dealing with a huge chunk of the garden. And when we're done, the cabbages can go a little bit longer and the Brussels sprouts are actually growing. So we're going to give them the opportunity as well. The tomatoes are going to go in and they are going to ripen in brown paper bags. It does an amazing job. Tomatoes like the dart. We pulled all of the jalapenos that we were able to get as well as the smaller tomatoes. But this is a huge amount of little cherry baby tomatoes. These are the potatoes. And we have nine varieties in here. It's so muddy and dirty. You're not supposed to wash these before you store them. So I'm going to take these to the basement. I'm going to lay them out on some cardboard. We're going to get a fan going down there and we're going to dry out the potatoes. And then we are going to store them for long term this winter. And I'll probably bring you back when we put them in some storage buckets and so on. But we got quite the potato harvest. Like I said earlier, it's our first year growing. We've learned the gnats are nuts. We have learned a ton. We will do the dirt differently for the potatoes next year. We are fortunate that we had it in layers and we realized what layers they actually grow in. And we will make some adjustments. So, so yeah. 
thank you those of you that have stuck around all the way to the end we do greatly appreciate it here on the homestead if you're new around here and you're interested in finding out everything that we do if you hit that subscribe button when you ring the bell you get notifications and then you don't miss anything that we're doing thumbs up and comments all help our channel to grow and we are so grateful to all of the new folks that are around here but also those who have been with us for a very long time we appreciate all of you if you say hello in the comment section i'll at least try and wave or say hello back we do appreciate when you introduce yourself so welcome hello to those that can't because they watch on some other sort of like tv or something like that hello to you that can't comment we do enjoy having you around here. We want to share our lives with you. And the next video coming up is going to be our Q&A. So I hope you're looking forward to that. We're gonna answer all of your birding questions. I hope you guys have a super blessed week. You find something to be grateful for. For us today, it is this beautiful sunshine. Enjoy yourselves and your family. Be blessed. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now. She is very windy. <laughs>